Hello Taurus, welcome to your Love Tarot reading. This is for November 1st to the 7th, the first week of November. And yeah, it's for you and your person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, marriage, bumble date. Uh, Taurus, uh, this is a great time to be doing readings. Uh, I'm reading this on Halloween, or if you follow uh, the witchy traditions, uh, the first um, uh, the uh, day of the new year for witches. I see you and love you witches. Hello if you're watching. So this is a period of transformation. It's a period of taking stock. It's also Scorpio season. So you know there's a lot of things very you know profound energies are about today I feel uh, especially here um, you know out there uh, in the ether uh, at night as we go from uh, the 31st of October to the 1st of November. Uh, this will be going up tomorrow on Monday, so let's just see. I feel like you're going through some heartbreak. I saw the Three of Swords jump out a little bit. We'll see what's going on, Taurus. Um, please bear in mind, Taurus, this is a general reading, so take what resonates. And also, if you vibe with my readings, I would really appreciate it. If you wanted to subscribe, like, comment below. It really helps me reach more people if you think this message is helpful. So thank you, Taurus. Let's see, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please tell me, angels, what is going on with Taurus and their person and what happened in the recent past to make this situation so. So show me, please, Taurus, your person, and the current energy. Okay, I got two. Okay, we'll just take it. Okay. Weird. Taurus, we'll work it out. I don't know what's going on here, but you are into this person. You've got the lovers and the queen of coins here. You're like, I choose you, boo. You're for me. You're cute. You're like looking at this coin here. Like, this is my coin. This is for me. You, like, you're into this. You're into this. This is the coin I wanted. I always wanted a coin like this. This person is my coin. Let me polish it a little bit because I know what I want because I'm the queen of pentacles disregard gender it's arbitrary you got the lovers i made a choice as this person two of cups this person chose you that's what they brought into the relationship soulmates they feel like you're their soulmate and currently you're looking about uh you know currently you're looking into expanding this relationship or quite possibly you know um someone turning their back on it I feel like, you know, you really like each other. And I don't know. Some of you might already be married to this person. Uh, like I say, this is you and your person, whatever that connection means to you. For some of you, this is a more longer-term relationship. It's been a happy, happy relationship. Or it could be a newer connection. But I feel like here, you know, with these uh, three of wands, this is, this is the energy of two people who want to make it work, who want to take it to the next level. But I feel like, you know, the problem of, about this is that someone here is thinking, thinking about relocation, is thinking about, um, you know, something came up basically for someone something came up and they just they like it they like you like it like you i don't see any problems here between you and your person taurus but someone just feels the need to possibly uh distance themselves from the relationship you got the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck not enoughness someone going on a journey to get that uh, cup of happiness but i do feel it's not about the relationship it's something outside of the relationship uh, King of Swords. So one of you quite intellectual. It could be someone, you know, someone has an offer to like maybe a different job, move to a different country. It could be a military person, someone in the military, uh, someone to do with something military style, uh, someone to, yeah, something like that, something to do. If someone has to relocate, it could be because of the military or something like that. That's a specific message for one of you out there. It's not for everyone. Uh, tell me more about the Three of Wands here, please, Angel. Queen of Cups. She's also looking into the horizon here. Um, yeah, this is about feelings. This is a weird reading. This is for good or for bad, please.
Yeah, cups again. Three of cups. Okay. This is about someone who really loves, you know, whatever it is that's coming between you. This is not about, like, it's not about your relationship, other people. It's not, no, nothing is coming between you. But it's like, someone has something else they really love. Like, their job, their passion, whatever it is. And they may have an offer or an opportunity somewhere. The emperor, you know, someone feels very strongly like they want to build an empire and they may need to choose between this empire and you they you know they want to be celebrated doing something this is very emotional for them queen of cups so this person feels your person i feel it could be you but i feel like it's probably your person they feel like they have to choose between you and this, some other opportunity that they absolutely love. Yeah, temperance. They're trying to find a balance here. And I feel like you're more in the energy of like stable. You don't want to move. You're happy. You're happy and healthy and wealthy where you are. Sun, things are coming. Things are becoming more clear. Yeah. Let's see how your person feels about the situation. Oh my God. Yeah. They feel like they have to leave their empress. You are their empress. Look, the empress. Disregard the gender, arbitrary, archetypes. You know, it's just energy. The empress is, you know, the ultimate, like the kind of person. This is like whatever your ideal person is. This is the divine feminine, divine, you know, human humanity, divine creativity, divine beauty, divine everything. It's the ultimate. They see you as an angel. There's a lot of angels here. Um, you see, they see you as an angel, but they feel like, again, not enoughness, eight of cups. They feel like they need to continue on their quest for some reason. They can't stay with the, uh, with the empress death. Um, and they need to transform. They want to transform the situation. It's like, they feel like they will have to choose, like whether they need to stay in the situation or leave. Let me, uh, clarify death. What are they thinking in terms of death, please? What are they thinking in terms of death? King of Pentacles, they don't want to leave. This is the counterpart to the King, uh, sorry, to the Queen of Pentacles that you got. That's you and that's this person. They want to stay wherever they are and be with their uh, Queen of Pentacles, but they feel like this journey that they're called upon to take, it's for something they love. It's like a duty to them. That's why I'm getting the soldier vibes, like general vibes. Like, you know, it could be just symbolically speaking, you know, this person behaves like that. They have a duty to other people, duty to their art, duty to their country, like whatever it is. They feel like, and they feel like they're doing it for you too. But it's just a sad, sad thing that they don't want to leave you behind. Let's see how you feel about this situation. It's like you're made for each other. Oh, got this card here. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Nobody wants to, like, you're both scared that you're going to have to cut this off. you got two aces here and the devil. Yeah. Yeah, you don't feel good about this situation, um, Taurus. You feel like, you know, you feel like you're both kind of locked into an impossible situation. Like, you're both trapped in this situation. Like, someone else is controlling it an external force you feel chained down to the situation but you, and you also don't want to let it go you're, you're holding on to this person just like they are to you here with you know this is their empress the king they want to they know this it's like this needs to end for some reason and i do feel that is because of a journey but you know it could be symbolic for some of you so just remember it's a general reading so take it as it resonates you know it may be the journey is professional, the, the journey of, of some kind, but I, I feel like it's travel. I feel, feel like it's something, it's like they have to choose between you and some kind of a duty, you know? Um, you would like to continue with a new beginning here. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Ace of Wands, you know, you feel very passionate about this. You do not want this to end, it's just like this person knows that the ending is only the beginning. They want to transform the ending into a beginning. But they feel like they need to leave for now. They need to leave. They need to go to another place, figuratively or literally. Wow. Wow, this is so deep. There is no doubt in my mind or yours, both of you, that you are meant for each other. Something's between you, though. And it's not you, too. It's something else. Okay, let's see what this person's next action towards you will be.
they're not gonna let it go four of wands at the bottom of the deck Reun reunion love making things work building a family maybe a celebration like a marriage i don't know you've got the star here this person isn't gonna let this go they're gonna you're the, you're their guiding star you see i i'm telling you i see so many angels here it's like you're um when you're together you connect to angels you are their angel you are their star you are the angel i always want to cry oh my gosh taurus i'm gonna cry because i feel your pain someone's in a lot of pain you are their star it's like they guide you wherever you go and you feel like even if you have to leave go somewhere for some reason you have these you know like you have to like get on a ship like whatever it is go over water it's like even in your travels this person whenever you look at the stars you see their face because they're your guiding star oh, that's so sweet and you know um this person you know you know this person is coming with a message towards you they're coming with a message because no matter where they go you're with them because you are the moon the stars to them you are the world whatever they look at this is like this love is deep this love is centuries long and they're gonna come to you and say let's be happy regardless you know whatever this is maybe you guys are thinking can this be a long distance relationship will it work yes it will because it's like you have no choice the ten of cups is bliss family true love reunion here you know building a life together being generous with each other here with the six of coins at the bottom of the deck you know new beginnings here you see a lot of pain here bottom of the deck uh someone felt really hurt ten of swords but you don't you know and there may be a lot of pain coming through this, with this relationship because i feel i feel like there is distance i feel like it's about you know being in two different places or you know figuratively or literally whatever it is it could be some kind of ideological difference for some of you if it's not an actual journey you know it could be that ideologically you're very different and it's like causing i don't know it's like your rivals in something it could be for some of you as well like rivals at work or something and it's like a taboo thing but I do, I, I do think it's mainly to do with having to move away. And this person's going to say, let's just be happy at a distance. Let's just be happy. Let's cover this ground. We can do it. Like, it, you know, it doesn't, ultimately it doesn't matter. Because I see you here, my Ten of Cups, they're not here on the ground. Even here there's children playing. It's not even in the children. It's, it's everywhere around us. We are a family wherever we go, whoever we are. Like, we just, we, I look at the rainbow and I see you. I look at the stars. I look at the rain. Like, you are in nature nature is you this is divine love wow i think you know you got this message here today taurus as reassurance that this can work even if it's long distance whatever is standing between you you can heal it you can make it work because you're healing to each other you need each other you need each other You got the hangman at the bottom of the mini deck. So, you know, and there may be times, periods of where you just have to hang in there and be patient with the situation, but this is going to work. And this person is coming in. Um, you know, I don't really see you being necessarily in separation, but they mu there might be a quiet period where you're both thinking about what to do or you're not sure, that kind of thing. And this person is definitely coming with a message of love. They will not leave you until they know that you can be theirs. Because I see here that this person understands, you know, you both know, you know, is this over? Is this not over? You're not sure. Um, but, but you're both thinking about it and this person is going to be very vocal about how they cannot let it go. Because they can't, maybe, you know, maybe you guys will have some kind of a talk this week where you're like, well, maybe we should just like take a break or something. This person will come right back in and they'll be like, I can't. I can't do that. I can't live without you. I can't because like everything reminds me of you. Wow, this is beautiful and romantic and profound, Taurus. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you and I hope, to, I hope it helped a little bit. Uh, tell me your story, Taurus. I will see you next time. Take care of yourself and may the angels protect you.